Hi. In this video, let's show you about our 16 by 16 HDMI matrix switcher. So here we have the setup. Basically right now we have the uh, matrix switcher here and it's a 16 inputs and 16 outputs. It's one you hide. So here we have the input buttons. We have 16 input buttons and 16 output buttons. So basically for the button switching and we can just simply press the button and for the switching and we can just start the input then press the output for the switching. So we can see what it got like the source two, uh, source one, and if we want to switch the source two, press the source, then we press the up buttons. You can see we already got the another source, and this is the front panel. Here we also got the capture, and if we want to set up the EDID for this button, and then we can just press the EDID, then here we can review, like press the up and down button, then we can review like different different EDID information for the input two. And after we select it, then we just press enter. So this is about the uh, EDID. And here we also got IR. Basically we can use this mode, uh, remote control to control the sort switching if you want to switch the input two to the output output one. Then we just press enter. You can see where it got one the light is on. So on the back side right now we have two inputs and uh, one is from a player, another one is from laptop and uh, this is the input and uh, on this side we got the 12 uh, right now we actually have 13 outputs connected to these monitors and uh, one TV on this side For the controlling and also we can use like the RS232 and use the RG45 here we have a power off and a button here. So right now we have this white LAN cable connected to this Wi-Fi router and we have another uh, blue LAN cable connected to the laptop on this side. So basically we can just use this laptop to control the switching and we can check it out. So on the uh, laptop basically we can just type the IP address in the web browser then we can enter into the home is for the switching and it can support 16 centers and 16 centers to recall and on this side we got the output and this side is the input so for the switching it's actually the same as the front buttons we just select the input then press the up button for the switching so we can see what it got is switched And uh, here we also got the caption, caption, which means we can rename the inputs and outputs. Like right now we have the input one is player, input two is laptop, and the input three is empty. But we also can see here we got a green indicator, which means this input one and input two is active. And on this side, we also can see we got 16, uh, 13 outputs. So for the recall, and it's going to be very simple, and this the 16 is the saved centers, we can just press the button to recall the saved centers. Center 1, Center 2, and Center 3. So if you want to do the switching a little bit, then we can just so like right now we have the different thing if you want to uh, have this one center as center 4 so we just click 4 here then we already got this one saved then we record that center center 3 center 2 then we got the center 4 which we just so this is the center 4 we just saved and here we got accept the home caption which allow us to change the input and output names and also the uh, centers here and also we can set up like the uh, country commands because on the matrix feature we got the RS232 outputs if you want to use this matrix feature to control like uh, those splicing screens by the RS232 commands then we can set up the commands on this side 
And here we got the EDID. So EDID, which means we can set up each EDID for all the 16 inputs. And each input can select, you can see we got uh, 15 EDIDs. And setup. So setup, we can set up the IP address. The default IP address is 192.168.1.80. And the baud rate is 9600. And the buzzer, which means once we, we, we click submit, then once we do the switching, then we can hear the beep sound is coming out. So this is the buzzer. So this is about the setup and also account. Account is uh, for the change the in username and a password here and a logout. Except we're using this uh, web UI on the laptop, we also can use like the Android or iOS tablet. So here's we got an Android tablet and we are using the uh, web browser as well. So if we want to do the switching, it's going to be the same as we do on the We do on the uh, laptop, and also we got the application. It's called M MCS Matrix Control System. We can find it in the App Store. So this is the caption here and EDID setup. So like right now, we actually got like the um, input one and input two is for the DVI. Just because those small monitors are only can support the DVI signal, but this one can support the HDMI signal. That's why we have this input one and input two set up as the DVI. It's, it's going to be the same, and uh, we can see we got like okay. Thank you so much. I hope you like this video and this product.